Leader Third Party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker, since the beginning of the Paleozoic, there have been six great extinctions. The first occurred 440 million years ago, and 80 to 85 per cent of known marine species were wiped out. 360 million years ago, 80 to 85 per cent of known marine species were once more obliterated. At the boundary of the Paleozoic and Mesozoic, 251 million years ago, 70 per cent of all land species and 96 per cent of all marine species were eradicated. At the boundary between the Jurassic and Triassic, some 200 to 210 million years ago, 80 per cent of marine species and many of the land vertebrates perished, including most amphibians. In the fifth, known as the Cretaceous Tertiary or KT event, 75 per cent of world species, including the dinosaurs, were wiped out. The sixth and greatest extinction event in the history of Earth is occurring as I speak. This extinction event is unique in that it is a direct consequence of human activity. Honourable Speaker, in all cases, marine extinctions and increases in ocean acidity go hand in hand. Whether it be flood basalt eruptions spewing enormous quantities of carbon dioxide and sulphates into the atmosphere for hundreds of thousands of years, a global sulphate dust cloud formed when a meteor landed in a gypsum deposit in the Yucatan Peninsula, or carbon dioxide released by humans in the combustion of fossil fuels, the effects are identical. Eventually, the oceans slowly but surely draw down the resulting carbon dioxide levels, or more rapidly, the sulfur levels, increasing the acidity of the surface waters. Honourable Speaker, when ocean surface acidity increases, creatures find it more and more difficult to create their calcium carbonate shells. In fact, Honourable Speaker, their shells start to dissolve. Honourable Speaker, it took at least two million years before corals started to reappear, and about 10 million years for their genetic diversity to become re-established after the KT extinction event. Children born today, Honourable Speaker, will be the last generation to witness the majestic beauty of coral reef biodiversity, for the world's coral reef systems are on the fast track to global extinction. We know that by the time the warming reaches two degrees later this century, 99 per cent of all the world's coral reef species will be extinct. You can take that one to the bank, Honourable Speaker. In the words of Greta Thunberg, our civilization is being sacrificed for the opportunity of a very small number of people to continue making enormous amounts of money. It is the sufferings of the many which pay for the luxuries of a few. You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes.